All right, guys, following up from uh, the last video is uh, getting the rim all welded up and together, and it is. It is not detailed in any fashion, <laughs> but uh, we're going for functionality right now. That's what it looks from, like, from the other side. It's a big, deep-ass wheel donut. So, having said that, now i got to make this fit on that. Of course, it's too skinny, so we have to... Uh, fix that. I stripped all the stuff off the bike and uh, just so I can kind of mock it up where I want to go. I cut a center bracket out. This was sitting up in here. Cut that out of there. Um, I got the motor out of the uh, snowblower. That's the size of it. It's either three or five horse. But uh, it's like a decent motor. I looked inside the bore. It's got some carbon built up here, but I looked inside the bore. The cylinder looked fine. And uh, that mounts from a plate, a sideways plate, which is kind of nice, I think. We'll see. <laughs> um, here's that pulley that was on it. I was trying to tell you how small it was to kind of give you an idea of the ratio of what you're going to be having, you know. That's your ratio overall. And I don't know. What do you, you want to guess at what that is? Uh, 20 to 1? Yeah, no? 15? I don't know. Take tape measure on that, tape measure on that, and how many times does that roll around that? So, uh, I figure I could fine tune it driving it with this, and then I'll get a serpentine belt to go between there. There and there, and those are my two drive pulleys. So, all right, enough of that. Let's see about cutting some of this shit out of the way, and we can hang the wheel on it, and then stick the motor in it, and kind of look this away and see how it fits, huh? Would've been smart if I brought the stand over. But no, you're still over here where we were playing before. Smash it off the bus. All right. What about there? Out of my ass while I'm cutting the stupid thing off. Let's see, uh, right. something like that. Mix sparks. I got a new blade on the uh, cutting wheel. I'm gonna cut the left side assembly right off, and uh, then I could hang the wheel from the one side because that's the center of the bike where the tire needs to be. But that hasn't changed. Probably been shocked you guys had your plugs in. Right side, sorry. No, no, no. We'll get the right size. That's the right size. Stop turning it, you bastard. 
That's where that's going to go. Let's set a motor in the hole. Idea. Let's go. Uh, see what we're going to get down the side of the bike. shaft up a little bit so I can slide that fully. I figure I can cut that shaft off once I get situated. See one thing that sucks right now, the key doesn't go all the way down. So, of course the motor's not sitting square, but I think I can come square up that motor. I think I should be fine. The motor's got to go that way. Maybe something like that. So there. Hmm. I don't see any problem with it. I'm just gonna run one belt, I'm not doing a jack shaft. So I'm looking like right there and right back again. I don't see when I come out with that, it's not gonna affect it. I actually think the motor's gonna be up a little bit too, so that bottom one might be a little. Nah, I think we got it. Got a straight edge. Yeah, I, we'll be fine. If not, we'll make it fine. Hi guys, I'm going to shut you down there. I'm going to go do some contemplating. And now i got to figure out how I'm going to step this thing around that. Got to stick it way out there, you know. So uh, stay tuned. Hi right, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.